everyone hope everything's going well i just wanted to do a quick video on the tops event that was on saturday regarding all these athletes ripping these products and this is not more of an analysis video this is just more of hey what do you all think of that when i first saw that i actually liked it to be completely honest with you and the problem that I usually have with this industry is I believe there's a lot of hankies, hankus pankus going on, hanky panky, whatever you want to call it, chiggy wiggy, and loaded boxes. That's my issue. But when it's athletes getting together, I think it's actually nice. Now, there is no such thing as a free lunch. It's expensive getting all these athletes at these stores. You have to pay quite a bit. I get it. Michael Rubin knows these people, but he still has to pay them without a shadow of a doubt. And what will end up happening with this? I think what will end up happening is you're going to have to pay more for your products. If you're spending more on marketing, well, how do you recoup that money? Yes, you may initially get a little more revenue because of the social media presence, but ultimately you need to cut costs somewhere or you need to raise prices. And I believe they're going to raise prices on people who are buying. I don't really buy product from tops. I usually buy product on the secondary market on eBay. I want to hear your thoughts. Do you think this is good marketing? This is not good marketing? And one last thing I want to leave it on. I remember when I was at a marketing firm, WT, WPP firm, and they hired for one of the events, I think it was for American Express, they hired Sean Alexander, an event in Washington. And I swear they paid him a ridiculous amount of money. Now, Sean Alexander was a decent running back during his time frame. But guess what? They ended up paying him still a ridiculous amount. I'm not going to say how much they paid. If they paid Sean Alexander for that event a ridiculous amount, what are they paying current athletes? Where a lot of people ask them for endorsements, and they're selective at that level. Tom Brady would be selective, Harden would be selected, many others as well. I mean, Meek Mill was down in Atlanta. You had Chipper Jones at the Card HQ shop. There's no such thing as a free lunch, and the collectors are going to have to pay for it, in my opinion, even though I really like the marketing. What are your thoughts? Anyways, one last thing. I also have a new website. so take a look at it it's a work in progress or work in process whatever and i'm just going to be writing articles blog so take a look at it and uh, send it around if you like what i have to say anyways i'll talk to you later see ya bye